my name is Mark. This is Lachlan. This is Ben. And my name's Terry. Cover the budgies. Yes, cover the budgies. Budgies have gone to sleep. Okay. You're, you're living in Scotland, but obviously you haven't lived in Scotland all the time. You recently came from Ireland. What, what's happened then? We, we were in Ireland for four years because Fife Council Social Services told us that we were, our son was going to be taken into care at birth. And we, anyway, we went over there, spent four years there. For the last year and a half of that, we had no supervision order or anything like that. We decided we wanted to come home. We left the children in Ireland with a, no. well, a couple over there who are, they were the foster carers for Ben when he was a baby. And we ended up become they became like extended family to us, who we trusted very well to look after the kids when we came home. So we came back and met with social work for a week. And basically they told us that if we were to come home, they don't understand why we've gotten time because they're going to leave us alone. Based on the information they received from Ireland, they said there's no need for them to get involved. And two weeks after we got home, they decided, actually, we're going to slap a, an order on you and we're going to put your children on the at-risk register, which was just, in my eyes, illegal because they had no legal obligation to become involved. There was no complaint made. Yeah, but go back. If we go back to why you went to Ireland in the first instance, Kerry, what what did they say? Why did you go to Ireland? Uh, basically, we went for a meeting and we turned around and said that uh, Ben will be taken off me at birth and adopted out. And why were they going to take him off you at birth? Because of my learning difficulties. Right. And did they did they also say that you were too you, you, you didn't weren't bright enough to get married? Yeah, you did. Yeah. So they said you weren't you but you, because you weren't bright enough they had to take your baby at birth and you couldn't get married. Yeah, and to yeah. be honest, I don't think they would have been interested in stopping our wedding if we weren't having a baby. You know what I mean? They wouldn't have been interested in us at all. Right. And so it was about adoption, basically, in other words. Yeah. yeah. Another thing was that Kerry had spent time in the care system as well, where she never had a very good experience in the care system, so that was another reason why she was being targeted, which is sim there's so many young mothers who are in a similar situation. That's very true. That happens a lot in England as well. So, so you went to Ireland, uh, and what happened in Ireland? Well, basically, they first of all, they told us you need to go home to Fife because Fife Council basically told us that you're basically um, Fred and Rose West. You know what I mean? That the, that the reports were just made out that we were like the worst parents in the world. You know what I mean? Hmm. And this was before we'd even had a chance, before we'd even had the baby. So basically, we had to disprove all of the lies in those reports. One of the lies, well, a couple of them were pretty incredible, to be honest. Yeah. Um, one of them, I'll, I don't mind saying this on, on YouTube, but one of the allegations they made against us was that we were both cocaine addicts, uh, that we were both alcoholics, that we were both, what else did they say? Um, they basically made allegations that we had that we had been catching sexually transmitted diseases from people. Uh, I could go on. The list could go on and on and on. Hmm. But ba and so yeah, basically, in Ireland, they, they took Ben into care pretty early yeah. on. One of the things we had to do was we had to actually go and have uh, full health checks in the gum clinic to prove that we never had sexual transmitted infections. Uh, we had to do drugs tests to prove that we weren't drug addicts. Uh, we had to do all kinds of tests and things to disprove what Five Council had said about us. Do you think it was a good idea to go to Ireland? Definitely, yeah. Definitely. If we never went there, then we would never 
stand had, our ground. We would never have had Ben in the first place, and we would have had no chance of getting him back. Mm. So, so you, you, you think at times it's a good idea for people to leave the UK and go abroad? Yeah, and I've heard some people have spoke about North Cyprus because apparently the social services are very good there. They stay out of people's lives unless they absolutely have to be involved. But, I mean, I've also heard that Spain's better as well. But Well, Kerry, um, how did you find Ireland? Well, at the beginning of it, it was horrendous. But then we got Ben back, and it was good. Did you find them quite supportive in Ireland? Yeah, very. Yeah, definitely. Well, we went to Belfast first. That was just crazy. <laughs> that was. Uh, we went to... Oh, my God. Then we moved from Belfast down to... Dublin for a little while. Dublin for a little while, and then we moved back. Yeah. Back, back to Belfast. Back to Belfast. It was just all the moving was horrendous. It was good in a way, because then we experienced the full lot, but it was just a nightmare. <laughs> but you <laughs> settled down in the end, yeah? Yeah, we settled down in the end in Ireland. So. All right, so do you have fond memories of Ireland? Yeah, I do, yeah. I definitely yeah, definitely. But you, are you glad to be back in Scotland now? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. And you're both yeah. voting yes in the referendum? Family and friends. Are you both voting yes in the referendum? Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> going to be better, not just for the Scottish, it's going to be better for England as well. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm not necessarily as... I don't necessarily agree with you there, but that's, a, that's no. up to you. <laughs> hey, well, nice talking to you both anyway. <laughs> Okay, well, it's good talking to you too. All right, cheers. Bye-bye.